Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to go over how to connect your chip to a relay so that you can control some lights with HomeKit and Siri. So the first thing you want to do is connect your chip to the relay board. So you want to use some jumper cables and connect the following pins together. You want to connect the VCC pin of the relay board to the VCC 5 volt pin on the U14 header. You want to connect the ground pin to any ground on the chip. I chose pin 22 on the U14 header. Then you want to connect in two of the relay to the CSID1 pin. After you have them connected, let's get started on how to connect your lights to the relay. Okay guys, so this is a almost uh, regular uh, light setup. Uh, you have the wall outlet on one side and um, you have the lamp on the other side and you have two wires going through. One is uh, the power and one is ground. Um, so what you want to do is actually splice one of the wires. In my case, I'm going to choose power. So once you've spliced the cable, make sure you have two usable leads. Um, make sure they're not dirty or anything and uh, they're all clear you can see the copper pretty well okay and so the next part we're going to do is connect it to the relay so now that we're at the relay a general relay has three terminals in this board however we have six terminals because we have two relays available as it's a two relay board so we are connecting to the k2 relay and so the relay is um has three terminals the normally open terminal the common terminal and the normally closed terminal so you want to connect your splices to the normally open terminal and calm terminal respectively. It doesn't really matter, but make sure you don't have a terminal that's connected to the normally closed terminal. So uh, that's the end of that, guys. So now we'll move on to the code. Okay, guys, so the first command you want to run is cd slash srv and click enter. And so the next command you want to run is sudo mkdir uh, relay lights, or actually it's optional here. You can name your directory whatever you want. Later on in the setup, you just change the code a little bit. So in my case, I'm just going to name it relay light. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure you remember it. Yep. Yep. And then if you run the ls command, you can see the folder is there. Go into that directory with the cd command. Now, make sure you remember this part. Uh, that's sort of important, or even the folder name. So next command you want to run is sudo wget and go.gl slash k9njac and click enter. Make sure you have that link and click enter. And there you go. You can see that's a very quick download. Um, it's just 420 bytes. And um, if you run the uh, command, the next command you want to run is shk9njac and click enter. It just runs the script you just downloaded. And there you can see it says download one complete. And so the next command you want to run is ls and make sure you have these three files, light off, light on, and pin.py. And uh, run the command sudo nano pin.py. Click enter. So this is actually the uh, pin we have the relay connected to, the uh, in of the relay. So if you connect it to a different pin, you can change it here. And then the next command you want to run is um, cd tilde. And uh, make sure you have that and click enter. And if you run the ls command, uh, if you use my previous tutorial to install hap-node.js, you should see hap-node.js is there. So the next command you want to run is wget slash 3uysg8 and just click enter. And you can see just like before, it just saved the script. It should be 415 bytes. Uh, it might have changed. It might change a little bit depending on the bugs and stuff, but... Aside from that, just run sh3uisg8 and click enter. This is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to complete, so I'll skip to where it's done. Okay, so now you can see it's done with the download to complete. Um, so next command you want to run is uh, you want to enter the hap-node.js directory, cd hap-node.js. Run the ls command. Uh, make sure you still have the accessories and everything like that. Um, enter the accessories uh, uh, command. Uh, enter the accessories directory, run ls, 
and uh, you should see the light accessory.js file. So then run the nano light accessory.js. Uh, yeah, oops, sorry, yeah, sudo nano light accessory.js. And just click enter. And now that you're in the sudo light accessory.js, you need to change some variables. So first thing you want to change here is this one word. Um, you can just enter any single random word. It sort of acts as a key. It's not a safety thing. It just it's for generating a one time ID. And so here I like planes and rockets. So I'm going to do space shuttle rocket. I think I'm just going to do plane planes. Yep. And then uh, the service name. So this is what you want your light to be called by. Uh, so you could say what you want with Siri and stuff. So you could do bedroom light or whatever you had in mind. Um, so I'm going to stick with the bedroom light. Um, and then here's the directory. Uh, previously in the tutorial, we made the folder and everything. So make sure you had that remembered and just change whatever is here to the folder name. So if you made it bedroom uh, bed lights, whatever you made, made your folder, just keep it there. So in my case, I made it relay light. Make sure it has the same punctuation like capitals and stuff. And uh, that's the end of that. So uh, just click Control X and then Y and then save it. And um, you want to run the ls command, make sure nothing happened. Then go back into the previous directory and run sudo node bridged core.js or core.js, whichever one you use. Uh, it really depends on what you use. So if you use core.js, you can run core.js. If you use bridged core.js, just run bridged core.js. But in my case, I do run bridged core.js. So um, just run that and click enter. So now that it says parsing accessory light accessory.js and there are no errors, that means it's like successfully, um, you have successfully completed the installation. Um, so now you can pair it with your Apple device, uh, iOS 8, uh, 8 or above. Um, if you don't know how to pair it, uh, use my uh, pairing tutorial. I'll leave a link below. But uh, if you're not familiar with app-node.js, um, you do need to restart the app-node.js node every time on reboot and every time you log in. Uh, down below, uh, I'll leave a link on how to automatically start the node so you don't have to do it manually every time. Um, on the next part, I'll show a demonstration with Siri. Okay guys, so now let's uh, do a Siri demonstration. So after I've paired it, uh, let's ask Siri a command. Turn on the bedroom lights. That's what I named mine. And there you can see, okay, the bedroom light is turned on. Uh, whatever you name yours, that's what you use. Let's turn it off again. And there you go, turn off. I turned it off. Uh, you can even ask the status with the question, uh, is the bedroom light on? It tells you the status. So if I turn it on again, like I will now, there we go. And uh, now it's turned on. And let me ask the status. And there it replies, the status is uh, turned on. So uh, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.